Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 17. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class D European Tour. We're going to be taking the Alfa Romeo Brera, and we're starting off with Magello, then Hockenheim Ring, Silverstone, Circuit de Catalunya, and then the Nürburgring. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Let's do this, little Alpha. The Alpha that could. I actually would love to have one of these. If I could get one of these as a first car, I would. I'll buy it in a heartbeat. Alright, not, not a bad start so far. Yo, Kiwi, what up? How are you today? Welcome. Ooh. Also, mo most sports for engine sounds are loud. They are very loud. 100%. Those engine noises are loud as fuck. Yeah, there's definitely an issue with um, YouTube view counts. Because uh, at the moment it just says no views, but there's three people in chat, so. That's uh, a little bit broken. Good to hear, good to hear. I've never heard of Rise of Nations, so I wouldn't I wouldn't have the foggiest idea. Gone into the uh, gravel trap there a little bit. Oh, this is such a good sounding engine. Alfa Romeo knows how to make a good car. 100%.
yeah, I don't, I don't play any Roblox at all. I can't stand it. It's very much a, I don't know. I think Roblox itself is an amazing idea. The sort of really interactive game with all these different ideas. I don't like Roblox as a company. At all. I mean, it's literally just exploiting people who make games and whatnot. Like, some of the top games don't even earn a decent amount of money from Roblox. Like, they'll earn Roblox, like, hundreds of millions, but the developers themselves barely earn a million of that money. That's why stuff is so expensive in those games as well. Because to make a somewhat reasonable amount of money, they have to price stuff ridiculously high. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to check the link out just because I'm streaming, so. And as soon as you finish streaming, it deletes the chat, so I, I wouldn't be able to see any links or anything like that. It sucks that YouTube does that, but it's what it is. It is really strange that YouTube doesn't have, like, a generic just sort of chat. Fair enough. Coming around the last corner. Whoop, whoop. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And across the line we go. Saving. Please wait. I'm going to take my... No worries. Recognition of your excellent performance, you've been awarded your choice of several cars. The category is Ring King. Which means they're all going to be shit, because they're built for the Nürburgring. Oh, I take that back. I'm taking the GTR. Don't care what anyone says. I'm taking the GTR. Obviously, by the time you're... If you're watching this on the video... The new merch is probably going to be out. It's going to be all the new designs. Whoop. What the hell was that? Bum, 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 
from from I remember driving this track a lot with the um, in project cars I remember doing a wet race around this circuit and obviously project cars has got some of the most beautiful sort of wet weather track progression so going around over and over and you kept seeing just this dry line appearing super fun little bit wide there. Oh, I completely overshot the corner. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the chat. I was like driving along and then I was like, oh. Am I not supposed to be slowing down? And then by that point, I'd already hit the wall. There we go. That's much better. I think as well, that's the first time I've had to rewind. No, I lie. I think I did it on the first episode. Which, I mean, was kind of funny. But... Bad start.
This is some good drum and bass. Ralston never fails to impress. Ralston can make some good songs. Not bad at all. 15,000 credits. I will take it. All right, here we go. Race number three of five. I don't know how many races I'm gonna do today. I don't even know how long I'm gonna stream today. But I need to be finished by about one-ish. Tomorrow night, I've got to spend all editing. Whoa, screwed that corner up a little bit. There's the medical center. That's where I'm going when I crash my car for the 15th time. I think this was the last year that Silverstone looked like this. Sorry, the last Forza game that Silverstone looked like this uh, before they A, changed it to black and white curbs as opposed to red and white curbs. And also when they changed the entire layout as well. Because the layout got completely changed as well. Quite a lot of stuff that happened. Start off Silverstone. Uh, I really hate this track. I think it's a terrible track.
we go that's that race finished all right here we go let's do this brum, brum, brum. that was one hell of a launch that's what four-wheel drive does you got all the wheels of a car driving it drives surprisingly well wow, wow. the amount of grip that this car has through corners is actually surprisingly good
Good first lap. Three more to go. I, okay. I have absolutely zero clue what just happened then. Look how nice this car is. If I could find an alpha like this, I'd, I'd buy it. As long as it was at an all right price. Doubt you'd be able to find one though. That was a good corner there. I'll take that one. Gran Turismo on Xbox. Yep. This is Gran Turismo for Xbox. How are you today, Heinz? Hopefully you're having a good day. I am looking forward to the new Fox and Motorsport. I'm hoping it's a little bit more Gran Turismo-like, but... Might not be. Heinz, let's do a power out. Hang on. Ah, oh, can't fight. Hang on. Let's do it. Because if you win, you get the Hoonicorn for free. So. It's hot even at night tonight, though. It's been hot in the UK. Like, ridiculous. Hey, party time! a good corner. Ah, oh, Heinz has won! My man.
Hey! I actually think it's quite cool that I can do that and sort of do like rewards for the mini games. Because it means that I can have a whole host of extra avatars that I can do. And then obviously, like, in a couple of months' time, I can bring back the Hoonicorn and whatnot. I got a car of a dead owner. What the hell? Oh, I'm taking the Mura concept. I don't care what anyone says. What the hell's that? I didn't press that button. I want the Mura concept. I think it's quite a cool car, actually. All right, here we go. Uh... Oh, my drink's over there. Ah, oh, I need a drink. I'm dehydrated. I'm gonna die. Michelin! Say up, move over! I think as well, chat, um, I don't know whether I'm going to do it or not, but I think I might be doing a Starfield stream day one. I might play some uh, Starfield when that releases, because that is the game of the year at the moment, I think. the water is wet and when it freezes it's slippery. I, I think so. I think so. Isn't it though that when it when it touches something cold it's sort of sticky as well? I don't know. When it's something warm, it sort of like starts melting on the outside, so it just slides. It's really weird. Ice is a magical substance. The second British person that I went on stream and started talking about Starfield today. Because uh, I'm so excited for it. I've already pre-ordered it. I own it. I have the game ready. I just can't play it till the 1st of September. I bought it on Fanatical. So I got a little bit of a discount off on it. But it's 70 quid for a brand new game still. Woo! But, uh, yeah. And I paid for early access just because I wanted it early. But, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I, I mean, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Fallout 4. And this game is sort of similar. It, it's like if No Man's Sky and Fallout 4 had a child... I'm not too fussed about games if they're a little bit buggy or a little bit meh, right? Fallout 76 was shit because the fact it was an only multiplayer game. 
That was the only reason it was terrible. The actual gameplay of Fallout 76, the actual way that it worked, the camp, the building, everything. I think Fallout 76 was actually very, very good. The only problem is, because it was a multiplayer game, the actual story wasn't there, so it was quite dry. But for exploration, I mean, I loved Fallout 4 for its exploration side of stuff, so 76 was super good for that. And again, I really hope so it'll be full of bugs. Oh yeah, 100%. I'm expecting bugs, which is why I, it doesn't bother me. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward, obviously, to... Um, oh, what the fuck? I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. But yeah, if it if it's what I'm hoping it's going to be like, a little bit of Fallout 4 with a little bit of everything else, I think it's actually going to be quite enjoyable. And especially the exploration is going to be phenomenal. If you've got all these different worlds, 100%. Fallout bugs are funny. Yeah, and sometimes Fallout bugs are actually really funny. But like, the bugs that you see in Fallout... The game is still playable. Some other games like Cyberpunk became a little bit unplayable, so... I really want to get um, the VR set up for No Man's Sky, because No Man's Sky in VR on PC is so good. One of the best experiences I've ever had. Completely overshot that corner. That car barely moves and you overshoot a corner. Pretty much. Screwed it up big time. By the way, Hans, um, on the stream avatars extension, does it have the Hoonicorn on there now? Because if you haven't unlocked it, it should actually not appear at all. And it should only appear once you've unlocked it. Because obviously it's not a purchasable car. So... It doesn't appear in the list until you've unlocked it. But uh, hopefully it is there in the list. Can't get there on phone. Ah, fair enough. No worries then. Is that race finished? Oh shit, I wanted to do a handbrake turn. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.